Conservative Partnership Institute, Rachel Boulevard. Rachel, good to see you. Thanks for having me. Rachel, where were the fact checkers here? I mean, we had Politico, by the way, uh, just a couple hours after the president's speech, quote unquote, fact check him because he said one out of every three women who travel to the U.S. border are sexually assaulted on their journey when actually one in three is 33 percent. The actual statistic is 31 percent. They tried to fact check him on that as if that was somehow inaccurate. Where were those same fact checkers on Stacey Abrams? Because when she's talking about immigration, she's talking about children in cages. She's blaming President Trump for that. We all know for a fact that that policy and those horrifying photographs of the children in cages by porta potties wrapped in foil blankets that happened under President Obama. Yeah, just listening to the clip that you just played, uh, three facts, uh, violent and and flagrant uh, violations of fact uh, came out and uh, stood out to me directly. The fact checkers were clearly out to lunch for her speech, not only on child separation policy, which, by the way, has been the law since 1997. This happened under Obama and plenty of other presidents, but Democrats only clued in when it happened under Trump. Uh, but the voter suppression that she talks about, uh, she cued in on the 600,000 people that were stripped off the rolls in Georgia and blamed that for her loss and, and claimed it was voter speech, not only on child separation policy, which, by the way, has been the law since 1997. This happened under Obama and plenty of other presidents, but Democrats only clued in when it happened under Trump. Uh, but the voter suppression that she talks about, uh, she cued in on the 600,000 people.